Hello ACU family, this is uh, Ray Fernandez from the Poconos. Um, again, what an awesome topic, what an awesome uh, discussion when it comes to syncretism and um, how uh, this ha allowed me um, to um, really be an example and a witness to others and uh, discussing how the church at times lacks uh, uh, the ability not to uh, uh, make the gospel into a huge uh, syncretic um, movement. Um, first of all, um, especially in these days where nobody wants to be the bad guy, everybody wants to be liked, nobody wants to be alone. Um, Christians tend to um, just try to find good in every religion, every belief. And when the Bible clearly says, Jesus Christ said, if they hated, if they hated you, it's because they first hated me. Um, heaven forbid, someone doesn't like us. And unfortunately, brothers and sisters, people will not like us. That's just the way it is. Um, I've been walking with the Lord since I was twelve. I'm about, I'm gonna be fifty, January first. And um, how many times we weren't invited to uh, other family members' events. How many times we weren't part of uh, certain um, celebrations because uh, my parents and us, we were Christians. And, um, and at times that really uh, affected us, especially with our uh, extended family members. Um, but we knew that we had to stand for Christ. Um, and I know it's tough, especially in a society that's ran by the likes we have on social media, by the followers we have. Um, it's unfortunate that many of us uh, struggle with uh, standing for, for Christ. Um, again, this is something the Holy Spirit has to do. This is something that we, as we get closer to God, um, he will show us where we lack in these things. Um, and He will help us. The Holy Spirit will help us. Uh, the thing with us is that, again, the Holy Spirit is trying to help us, but we ignore His voice. And it's important for us to hear His voice. Um, I'm going to tell you one thing. I've been working uh, at my job for 22 years. And I work, and, and I always just ask the Lord, Lord, um, how come I've never invited anyone? I, I mean, I've invited people in the past. To come to church and i never had uh, the opportunity to bring something i finally bought, was able to bring one of my co-workers to church and um she is also her husband uh she's become like a sister to me um but one thing she says that she sees that uh that christ is really my life um and the world knows when there are fakes and when when they are real uh, Christians um, and the world even though they don't say it even though they ignore but they want to see a genuineness they want to see um, the gospel we preach uh, change our own personal lives uh, not only that it's going to change their lives but it's going to change my life they did change my life and that is a uh, very important people again um, regardless of what they say they want to see gentleness sincere uh, to for us to be sincere in our walk with God and, and let them know I, I always tell people do not let the suit fool you um, do not let the words I speak to you fool you because I myself struggle and uh, that's what people want to hear people don't want to um, people uh, don't want to hear perfection they want to hear um, hey you know I've been there I've done that and um, have had my doubts in this Christian walk have gone through stuff we're not immune but there is hope in jesus christ that no matter how bad things get there is hope in jesus christ and how they're going to know the hope uh that we have in jesus by the way we walk and deal with things and i believe that the church of jesus christ um in order to win people um in order to uh, make churches bigger, which is which is truly a noble desire. Have sometimes uh, 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 kind of um, mixed all these different thoughts into the church. 
um, which creates a, a syncretism. I believe New Age is um, creeping into the church um, in order to uh, allow uh, to in order to reach a bigger uh, audience. Um, but again, we do not need to imitate the ways of the world to reach the lost. We need to trust on the Holy Spirit. We need to preach the gospel genuinely and let the Lord bring people. Um, our sweet words, our many events, our choirs, our worship nights, our Christmas pageants, they're all good. But the Holy Spirit is what draws people in. Um, we have to trust the Holy Spirit. Um, the uh, hand of the flesh, all these events are good, but they are limited. But uh, the Holy Spirit is limitless. So um, we have to trust in him. So those are uh, basically uh, my thoughts on uh, syncretism, um, how the Lord has allowed me to uh, stand for him. And because I've stand for him, I've shown genuineness. Um, I was able to bring my coworker uh, to church. And um, and again, and, and how the church at times has failed, um, how they bend the rules, have done their own thing in order to bring people to the Lord. When again, we have to understand it's the Holy Spirit that brings people is the Holy Spirit that convicts. Nothing we say or we do can do anything. Yes, we you know, again we could motivate people and they could come up and give a profession of faith, but it's the Holy Spirit that changed lives. So we need to trust the Holy Spirit. And uh um programs which are good and programs are not bad, but that cannot be the all in all. The Holy Spirit has to be the all in all. So blessings my brothers and sisters. God bless and we'll talk soon. Bye.